Shack burger single, fries, smoke shack, chicken shack, shrimp burger, shack, cargo dog, ube shake. Ah, uh, it's gone. Invalid. What? We missed it. There was a thousand peso discount code. We were taking full advantage in this video, but we missed it. Do you want to do it anyway? Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to a new, a brand new Daily Juice. Thanks for clicking on the video today and welcome back to another food video. I feel like you guys who watch this channel regularly, watch our daily vlogs, things like that, know that Lucy and I both love burgers. We even made a whole burger video here, trying to find the best burger in Manila. It came out for both of us, I think. Can't really remember the outcome of that video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I think it came out that Shake Shack was both of our favorites. No, your third favorite. My third favorite? Yeah. Oh, this is awkward. Or second or fourth. It's even more awkward. But today, this video is gonna be a full Shake Shack Mukbang. Lucy and I have decided, yeah, we were gonna use this gra grab discount at a thousand pesos off, so we were like, right, this is the time. Let's do the Shake Shack video. Seconds before we decided to order, gone, expired, can't use it. But we have ordered pretty much every item on the Shake Shack menu. We'll show you guys when it arrives, it's on the way, and we are gonna go through this. We're also gonna explain why we think Shake Shack is superior in the Philippines. And I'm glad that we've only eaten breakfast today because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be our lunch, dinner, maybe tomorrow's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and possibly into the next day too. Ooh, so close, you can taste it. I can they, really taste it. They always write, look at this by the way, oh my God. They always write nice messages. Did they not write no, anything today? I think it was a quarantine like thing. Oh, oh okay. okay let's I think go. this is the hot dog. I've never had, you've had one, haven't you? I've never tried yeah, one. Yeah, I've had one. Ooh, There's so many burgers. burgers. Oh my this God. is way too much food. Okay. So that there? must be the hot dog. No, that's a hot dog. Where's the shake? Yeah, that that's, must be that's the, the shake. Hot dog. That's the hot dog. Got it. The one that's got a hot dog on the box. Oh yeah. Oh that, nice. That she does have a Look, hot dog on the box. That looks insane. <gasps> it's so okay. This is the secret weapon of Philippine okay. Shake Shack. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll meet you over there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. You're welcome. Okay, here is the feast. How good does this look? I feel like we've upped the game here. I feel like, oh, was that your hip or your shoulder? No, it wasn't my hip. Where are you going to go? My hip does pop. Oh, I'm good. Are you going there? Yeah, I'm good. I feel like this earlier your legs are this way. No, 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 I have to sit like this. You can put your leg across if you want. It's okay, I won't, be able, to, I won't be able to stretch my leg that far. Okay, so here we have the Shake Shack menu. The, sh the whole, we managed to order I think there was just one thing we didn't order, but I think we managed to yeah, order we everything. Order, we didn't order like the plain hamburger because we feel like that's kind of boring and we don't want to eat just a plain exactly. hamburger we when there's want, all this. We just want the cool stuff. So yeah. we're just going to dive in. We've, we've had Shake Shack before, obviously, uh -huh. so this is more of a mukbang rather than like a taste test, but obviously mm. we're going to talk about the food and show you the food. I haven't had the shroom burger or the hot dog. True, I'm going to start with the things that I haven't tried. Shall we do that? Yeah, I'm going to try some of this as well. This is the shroom burger. So Kim and Tom, our friends from Love Keto on YouTube, when we they were in Manila, we actually they had they're vegetarian, I think, or yeah. they were, and they had the shroom burger, and they said like they love it. So it's their favorite. Know, I'm excited to try that one. Me too. This is the ube shake. Guys, we're gonna go straight in with this because mm. this you can't get anywhere. Is there a straw. Uh, mm, don't know. There was. Move your pizza. I literally just had a straw. I swear. Just try it. You can't get this anywhere. Other than the Philippines. Oh, it's, it's behind, it's next to you, oh, you silly. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, this is a unique menu item in the Shake Shack for the Philippines market, Ube Shake, which is going to be delicious. Booby Shake, right. I'm going to have a bite of this shroom burger. Do you mind if I have the first bite? Mm -mm. Always the most satisfying. Mm. I can't really lean in here, it's quite oh my God. awkward. This is like a dessert, this is so good. Is it? Look how purple it is as well, it's insane. I can't balance my plate, here we go. Using a plate? Uh -huh. Okay. What the hell? This is insane. Try this. Really? Oh, I didn't know it'd be that good. It's like, we'll give you guys a, another angle. Yeah. It's like loaded. There's something inside the mushroom. Is it cheese? Unless it's the mushroom, isn't it? Or is it is cheese? It? I don't it's know. Cheese. Okay. But it's so delicious. Mm. Like, you could eat that. <laughs> no, like, I love burgers and I love beef mm. burgers, but I would happily order that. And it's healthier, it's I like guess. It's like deep fried. It's no. still deep fried. It's deep fried mushroom. That's really nice. And it's a nice different flavour. Sometimes you don't feel like meat. 
So that's good. Sometimes you don't. Okay, I'm gonna. Mm. I think we might need to microwave the fries often when they are delivered. They're cold. They're cold. Mm. Yep. You're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll carry on without you. Mm -hmm. I'll leave this burger on your plate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What should we go for next? I think um, that's gonna be noisy, isn't it? Okay. Let's try this hot dog. It's like loaded with loads of different veggies. There is so much flavour in this. That is insanely good. That is like one of the best hot dogs I've had. Mm. I love the mustard mm -mm 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 -mm. at Shake Shack and ketchup. Let's have both. Try that hot dog, George. Yeah, That's next really. level. I love the hot dog. I've had one before. Mm. This one or the plain one? Actually, oh, I actually haven't had this one. Okay, the fries are hot now. You can have some. Okay, cool. Hot dog. It's very juicy. Ooh, let's try this. So oh, it's like a proper like Frankfurter hot dog. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't know what meat it is, if it's like pork or what, but okay, let's try the chicken shack. This is probably my current favourite Shake Shack menu mm. item. Um, I think they only just bought it out. This flavour is just phenomenal. Is that hot enough? No, but I don't care. I'll microwave it when I eat it. Mm. I'm more fussy with it than Lucy, I think. Mm. Guys, something we wanted to run by you. If you enjoy these kind of more laid back, chatty videos, mm. We're thinking of bringing back the Do The Thing podcast. Some of you guys know, some of you guys might not know. We did season one of our podcast, which is available on Spotify. We had like celebrity guests on that and YouTubers and vloggers, mm -hmm. actors, actresses, friends of ours, people who we've met who are kind of known and have a bit of a following. But we were thinking, and we did think of this in quarantine. Hmm, romantic. Hmm. Yeah, this is like a quarantine version of it, isn't it? Yeah, we were thinking of, this came about in quarantine, and we're still like in quarantine, of doing season two, but just Lucy and I laid back. Really, really laid back. <laughs> Literally lying in bed. <laughs> no, maybe. And maybe mm. audio only. We, we could do it in bed in the morning. We could, we make, could have it with a coffee in the yeah, morning. Oh my God, true. Make a little den, because mm. then the audio's good. And just upload, not film it. Just literally audio only. So for those who really like podcasts and really like mm -hmm. audio, if you're walking the dog, if you're exercising, if you're running, if you're in the gym, if you're you just like doing chores, up, I doing love washing up and listening to a doing podcast. chores and things that I don't particularly like doing. If you listen to a podcast, it makes it go quicker. True. Um, and also, obviously, we can't really have guests in our apartment at the moment. Exactly. So it means we can carry on the podcast without having to break any laws so that's always good mm. Mm, mm, mm. now this is my like go-to other <laughs> i swear all these items i'm like this is my favorite <laughs> this is a smoke shack which is cheese apple wood apple smoked something mm. bacon and this one has the uh, chili peppers in it which i love the like heat of um and this feels like really juicy today this mm -hmm. is crazy mm -hmm. by the way mm. sorry to come back to this it's so bright and steal the show if you haven't tried one of these, if you ever come, if you're not from the Philippines and you want to come, and you do come to Manila, go to Shay Shack, pick one of these up. And all of this. Mm. Such unique, fla unique flavor. It's not even that sweet. It feels a bit like desserty because it's they've, been thick. Yeah, but... they've sweetened it up, but it's thick, creamy. I don't know. It's bloody delicious. It's kind of like an ice cream, though, right? Mm -hmm. It was a bit weird having it with burgers. Yeah. Maybe we should have had it after, but it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna heat this up. You're gonna to wanna to heat these two up as well then, if you're being fussy. Yeah, is that the chicken? Is that the chicken? Chicken and I will carry on eating, not a problem. So George hates tomatoes, so I always eat the tomatoes off anything we get. These are good tomatoes, they're like meaty, beefy. Not as in they taste of beef or meat, I mean like chunky, I don't know why. That's, is that a British thing? You say like a beefy tomato when it's like a big tomato. Not that it tastes of beef. Yeah, but you say that about humans. Oh yeah. You say he's a bit porky, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you do. You say porky if someone's like a little bit overweight and you say beefy if they're kind of muscular. True. I don't know if... And you say chickeny. Don't know no, if you're... Don't no, you don't say chickeny. <laughs> I feel like I should finish what's on my plate before I eat new stuff, but I just want to try it all, yeah. even though I know what it will taste like. The chicken... Okay, if you could only order... If you could only don't ever... Ask don't ask me this. Order one thing from Shake Shack ever again and every time you go you have to get that. I think I can always eat the smoke shack. Yeah, but I, I agree. Love, I no, love I the, the chicken, chicken burger. Chicken. I love it. If you guys haven't tried the chicken shack, where's the other camera gone? Mm, yeah. Then I'll give you a little. It's a bit bright. Yeah, it's the new yeah. ring light. We'll give you a closer up view, mm. like we've eaten some of this. But this is insane. It's crispy chicken. It's uh, kind of pickly mayonnaise sauce, or maybe it's garlic mayo, lettuce, real it's, pickles. There's so much flavour. Brioche bun. Thick, so it's like. And the chicken's thick, but not too thick. But it's mm. real proper chicken. 
I feel kind of crazy. I'm just like picking up different burgers and having mouthfuls of it. Mm. I feel like a bit of a nutter, but not complaining. So good. And it's all in your lap. The original burger for me at Shake Shack is good, but I do think it's the I- the thing we tried. Yeah, I do think I prefer the Smoke Shack. Mm -hmm. Let me have a few bites of this. The bun's a bit soggy. We should have got a dessert. Mm. I mean, that kind of counts our dessert. I'm full. No, we should have done the chocolate thing they do. Damn. Oh. Was that not on there? I didn't see. I just was kind of looking oh. at the burgers. This bun is so soggy. It's like wet, look. It's like too mushy to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good, but I don't know what it is, the sauce or something. Maybe it's a bacon. There's no bacon in this. I think the chilies make this for me. The smoke shack, for some reason, has a better flavor. Get back into this mushroom burger. I don't know mm. what this is, George, look. It could be a lump of, oh, I think it's cheese. Maybe. Must be cheese. So you might be thinking, guys, thought you're being healthy now. <laughs> thought you're doing a health challenge. We are. Well, we did the 14 days. And then it all went wrong. No, I wouldn't say it all went wrong. I'd say we've come away, no, not come away from it. We've become <laughs> less strict a little bit. Put it here if you want. Or do you like it to catch your food? Mm. Okay. I don't trust myself. You do not look comfy. When I was a kid, my mum used to always get so annoyed because I would eat quite messily, and then I'd use my t-shirt to wipe oh, my face. I feel sick, don't say that. Like up until- That's gross. Yeah, so all my t-shirts and shirts. How old? Probably up until I was like 11. No, that's gross, all your food all over your I didn't care about fashion until like, Look, know, fashion doesn't seven mean, years ago. Fashion does not mean not having food on your clothes. That's a good point, but- Gross. No, my mum used to get so annoyed, I just used to finish a meal and just wipe mm -hmm. my mouth on my shoulder or or just like pull my top up and just wipe it. I don't want to eat now. What else did, what did you do as a kid that, looking back, you're like, how did I do that? Not too gross. George is gone again. George is obsessed with microwaving food. I, I don't, cold food. I don't mind that much. Like, having cold food doesn't really bother me. Why are you, why are you microwaving it on a tissue? Why don't you just use your plate? I can't think of anything I did that was gross. Oh, I, I once peed in my garden. What? But when I was like three or something or four. Confessions. Yeah. Maybe that should be the new angle of the podcast, Juicy Vlog Confessions. I don't have that many there. I've heated this up way too much, it's burning me. <laughs> it's boiling hot. That's not satisfying. Okay, the Smoke Shack, my ultimate favorite. This is my ultimate favorite of Shake Shack. Bacon, cheese, smashed patty. We got the burger sauce, the chilies. Look how many chilies are in there. Oh. The best, I'm telling you, the absolute best. Look, at this is the perfect bite here, the crispy bacon, the cheese. Yeah, why is it my favorite? I think the bacon adds an extra layer of like saltiness. Oh, so good. My absolute favorite, officially. Gotta be my favorite burger in Manila. But I didn't say it in that best burger in Manila video. I don't know what happened video. in that video. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, it wasn't that one, it was the normal one, that's why. Mm. One thing you guys have been asking us a lot in the comments recently. Mm. Where are you going to travel? What's your first trip after quarantine, after you can travel again? And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a while before we can travel to other countries. Mm. So I think it will be something mm. in the Philippines. Lucy and I have both said that it's probably going to be like a road trip. Mm -hmm. We would love to go back, see our friends at Masamiri mm. um, Cove place, where we went <laughs> before place, and vlogged. Say it differently. <laughs> Cove place. <It's> <laughs> It's like, I don't know how you say it, it's a cove. I think that would be a really nice trip. We can drive Somewhere there. by the beach. It's by the beach, we can stay in our own room. Mm. We can still be socially distant. I think anywhere for me by the beach would be Yeah, perfect. we can wake up in the morning, we can go and see the really friendly staff there, get a cup of coffee and literally walk to the beach in 10 seconds with our morning coffee, 6 a.m. sunrise. Was it sunrise or sunset you get there? Rise. Sunrise. We saw it one day, it was so windy. I that was it? And it was like the most beautiful sunrise ever. I miss Philippines sunrise and sunset. We get a little bit of sunset here. I just miss like water, just like having mm. the option to be near water. Mm -hmm. The closest we have here is a fountain in BGC, High Street, that I can't swim in that. Well, if I did, I think I'd get arrested. You could try, take yeah. your goggles down. Can you imagine? We swam in our pool here the other day. Oh yeah, we have got a pool. I forget that. We should do that again soon. Lucy realised that one of her main hobbies is swimming. Mm. We both went swimming the other day at our pool in the, our building here, and she got out and said, I actually, I didn't realise how much I actually love swimming. Well, I'd forgotten. And just swimming around. It's like you've forgotten because it's been mm. so long. And she realised it's actually a hobby. Not just, just like, something, like for me, it's something I kind of casually enjoy a little bit. If we go somewhere with a nice pool, I'll I swim just, about for a while, but I won't call it a hobby. I love being underwater, holding my breath, being underwater, and just like looking around underneath the swimming pool. 
diving under, doing handstands, doing somersaults in the water. Like, I just love being in the water. Mm -hmm. And, like, whenever we go on a trip with a swimming pool, I just live in the pool, basically, don't I? Yeah. I'm probably done. I'm really full. Maybe we'll save some of this for later. Really? I'm, I can't, I don't I'm still need... going. Can I finish this smoke yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. Do you know what's scary? I don't feel that full. I mean, I'm full. I don't want to eat so any more full. food. But I don't feel like stuffed and I don't feel sick. But I might in an hour. I think, I just don't think I can eat now for a very long time, maybe a few months. <laughs> Shake Shack's always good though. Yeah, we enjoyed that. Yeah, we did enjoy that. Even though we nice didn't get a thousand pesos off, but never mind, maybe next time. True. The music in the background of this video has been from Epidemic Sound. If you guys want a free trial, we have a 30 day free trial in our pinned comment. Um, if you're a creator or if you're just want some cool tunes like we've put this on in the background because we wanted music we like eating with music or yeah. sometimes tv but for this case music in the background and we're like we can't play music because of copyright epidemic, epidemic sound. sound no copyright for us and there's we pay some for it. great songs on there we always listen to epidemic sound songs like just when we, we do we've got them out. on our normal playlist now yeah turn the ac off because that is not the sound we want in the background anyway we're going to end this one off here guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed sitting down and having dinner with us yes we hope you enjoyed our double date or or three-person date. Three-way. Three. No, not three-way. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up. What would you like us to do a mukbang with next? I've got some ideas. I'd love to do a spicy food one. And I also want to do one with like loads of fruit. I feel like it'd be so like refreshing just having a big platter Perfect of fruit. Perfect place to do it, Philippines. Yeah, loads Mangos. of- Mangoes. Yeah, pineapples, dragon Ooh. fruit, loads of different fruit and just sit and just eat loads of fruit and that'd be really fresh, nice summery feel. Uh, so that might happen soon. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see you in the next daily juice. Bye guys. Bye. Oh, do you want to do it today? Put your hand out. You never get to do this. Bye guys.